Hi, my name is Rebecca Reed and I'm part of the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History's outreach team. Today we're going to be talking about seeds and we're also going to take some time to dissect a seed and see what's inside. Today I'm going to be using a lima bean seed. If you want to dissect your own bean seed, you'll need to have get seeds. You can use seeds from the grocery store like the beans we eat, the dry beans, or you can get a package of seeds from the garden store. And you'll want to soak your seed before you dissect it for about six hours in water before. It helps it soften up and makes it easier to dissect. And you'll just need a plate or something to work on. You don't need any special tools for this project. Before we get started dissecting our seed, let's talk about seeds in general first. A seed is a small embryonic plant inside a seed coat. Each, so each seed has a baby plant in it. I'm sure lots of you guys have seen different kinds of seeds, and I'm sure lots of you don't even realize some of the seeds you've seen. The largest seed in the world is called the coco de mer. It's a seed from a palm tree and it can reach 12 inches long and weigh 40 pounds. That's actually pretty big and rather heavy. Um, it's very, a very large seed. Another large seed that you might be more familiar with is the coconut. I'm sure lots of you have seen coconuts at the grocery store. And the coconut is from another part of a palm, another type of palm tree. I'm sure lots of you have eaten it and didn't even realize it was a seed. The smallest seeds in the world come from an orchid that lives in a tropical rainforest. They're about the size of a speck of dust, and actually they blow away in the wind as part of how they germinate. Um, one of the seeds you might be familiar with that comes from an orchid is vanilla. I'm sure lots of you had vanilla ice cream with the little black dots in it. Those little black dots are orchid seeds. They're from a vanilla pod from a vanilla orchid, um, and it's very yummy. Now, other seeds that are very small that you might be familiar with and seen more often are poppy seeds or flax seeds. And we'll see those in baked goods, on bagels, and in different applications. And some of you have may even planted seeds before in your garden. I'm sure this time of year, lots of people are working on gardens. It's the spring here in Texas. And I'm sure lots of you have planted like lettuces or maybe carrots or pumpkins or watermelons. Those are all things that we plant from seed in the garden. And now we're going to get started with our dissection. Okay, you can see here we have our lima bean seed. This is a lima bean that you could get from the grocery store, the kind that we eat. But they also have lima bean seeds that um, you can buy in a seed packet at a garden center. And before you dissect it, like I said earlier, you want to make sure that you soak it in water. For at least six hours, you might find you need to soak it longer. What you want is you want your seed coat to soften up so you can take that off. So the first thing, like I just said, is we're going to look at the seed coat and that covers the whole, all sides of the seed. And the seed coat protects the seed. So if you want to get it off, you just use your thumbnail and you start peeling it just a little, very gently because you don't want to dig into the, the rest of the seed. And sometimes you may find that it comes off in one big piece and other times it may not, but you can see right there, there's our seed coat. And the seed coat, it's kind of... Um, feels kind of funny, kind of thick and kind of almost papery or rubbery and it protects the seed. It's on the outside of the seed and just like um, we soaked it in water, when you plant a seed and you give it water that softens up the seed coat and lets the seed start to germinate. Now on this one you can see really well even before we start taking it apart you can notice right here there's something that's coming out of that seed right there. So that's really interesting. Now we're going to Split it in half. Now when you split it in half, you might have to kind of use your thumbnail and, and wedge it apart a little bit, but you want to be real careful. We're going to turn the two sides and you can see that they are symmetrical. And that's kind of a cool thing. Now this seed right here, there's two more, three more parts I want to show you. The first is the cotyledon and that is the first leaves that come out of the, the plant and they're right here one and then right here two. And those are, like I said, the first leaves, they help the plant um, get enough energy so it can continue to grow. Um, these kind of lima bean seeds don't have endosperm in them. Endosperm is a food that's in seeds. And a good example of a type of seed that has endosperm is a, a corn seed. And I'm sure lots of you have eaten corn on the cob or corn in other ways. And all those little, those little pieces of corn that you ate, those are all corn seeds. Now on this lima bean seed, we have two more things to look at. The next one is right here, and it's kind of hard to see but we have some little embryonic plant parts right in here. We have the embryonic plant, their little leaves, the first true leaves of the plant. And then we have this, which is called a radical. And the radical is actually another word for the root. 
So that's the first leaves that come up, grow up, and the first root that grows down into the soil. And so that's our seed dissection. Thank you so much for joining me today for our, our seed exploration. I hope you had a good time. If you'd like to see more content like this or enjoyed this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or ideas of things that you think that we should do videos on, please let us know in the comments. We love hearing from you. Thanks and have a wonderful day.